More than 10 years ago, Dan Laurie got the idea for a sculpture walk exhibition. Just in my travels around the world, uh, seeing wonderful sculptures everywhere and the joy it brings to people, and I came home and um, I just thought, boy, wouldn't it be great for, for Burlington? Unfortunately, the timing wasn't right for the city exhibit, but he pivoted and created a sculpture garden at the Royal Botanical Gardens instead. This fall, that original dream became a reality with the first Burlington Waterfront Sculpture Trail. So it's a project of the Dan Laurie International Sculpture Collection, which we've been working with for the past nine years now. And it's 15 sculptures that are on a one kilometer trail connecting City Hall, the downtown BIA, Spencer Smith Park, and the Art Gallery of Burlington. And it's uh, 15 artists from all over Ontario in a whole pile of different sculptural mediums. With his love of sculptures, Dan hopes to make this an annual event. Just because it stimulates people's imagination and, and engages them. Uh, when I see families walking along the waterfront and the kids stop and they're looking at it and the parents are reading about the sculpture and they're taking pictures and I think it stimulates their own imagination and so who knows what that could lead to and it just brings a lot of joy and it uh, really adds to the community. We've got pieces that deal with modern philosophy. We have pieces that deal with the natural environment and specifically Lake Ontario with um, Nicole Clausen's piece. We have an Indigenous work by Tom Wilson and Mark Flieger. So we've got pieces that deal with all sorts of different topics and that was really uh, a really important piece to the jury that selected the works that we were presenting a wide range of things because these areas are used by so many different people. We wanted everyone to find something they loved, something they hated, something they found controversial. And we've had tens of thousands of people walk this trail. We've had over 5,000 people vote on the Audience Choice Award. So it's a chance for them to finally get some feedback. Artists create work for the public to, um, to engage in it. And not having that opportunity has been really challenging, both like, so financially it's been challenging, but it's also been emotionally and mentally challenging for artists over COVID not to have that feedback system going. So artists need festivals and exhibition spaces and, and, and they need patrons to, to support them. And when we do that and we get more art in our community, uh, we all benefit. You can check out the sculptures until October 23rd. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.